Yo, what's cracking, YouTube? It's your boy, Professor Crypto. Got another hot crypto class for you guys today. This one's on fire. You guys already know anything we bring on the channel. It's got that heat of the potential, and it definitely should be watched. This one is no different, guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Class is now in session. Eureka! This one is called Tapioca Dow. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Guys, Tapioca is is the first layer zero native lending and borrowing protocol. Tapioca has acquired the license for Kashi Lending, which is SushiSwap, which was only ever licensed to Danielle Sesta and the billion plus Abracadabra. This is the only code in lending that has ever been hacked, making it the most secure DeFi lending code currently in existence. Tapioca employs Curves, VE, and DAO governance. Tapioca's liquidation auction queue allows everyone to profit off this crucial mechanism democratically we're gonna go over that more in detail guys but it should also be noted that tapioca's omni chain loans and first ever omni chain flash loans allow for settlement on any of the seven layer zero compatible chains up here in front of me guys i got their pitch deck let's run through it for a little more perspective and education on their platform. So what is Tapioca DAO in one sentence? Tapioca is the layer zero DAO governed money market utilizing licensed sushi swap technology similar to abracadabra built for all digital assets including nfts with a focus on user experience security and interoperability to usher in the future of lending and borrowing while that sounds quite ambitious guys and i like the innovative stance that they're taking with the crypto market in their ideas Funny, the little buildings like USDT, USDC, DAI, ETH, NFTs. Their manifesto, level playing field, stand against the forefront of Web3 financial revolution. With dApps, anyone can use regardless of wealth status or knowledge level. The whole is greater than the sum. Each single dollar in yield box or bento box is worth more combined together than split between individual participants. DeFi methodological individualism. This is the greatest threat to centralized control of finance. The collective is greater than the individuals who comprise it and the collective will decide the path of tapioca down. Let's examine the problem. They're claiming that the blockchain trilemma has greatly affected the DeFi adoption. Money markets are generally native to layer one blockchains, such as MakerDAO on Ethereum, Solend on Solana, and Anchor on Terra. Ethereum's bloated gas costs and slow finality have pushed users to alternative networks in search of affordable fees. These alternative networks, such as Solana, have had long lasting outages and Terra has had grave security concerns to the point that the chain was halted. Security issues have been dire in DeFi amounting to 1.3 billion in lost funds in just Q1 of 2022. Lending and borrowing has been particularly notorious category in these security woes, such as compounding $80 million reward bug, Maker's Black Thursday, and Cream Finance's $130 million hack. The exploding $31 billion NFT market has no access to financial tools, such as taking loans against NFT's inherent value. NFT Fi only accounts for 0.5% of the total NFT market, whereas lending in traditional tokenized assets accounts for 20%. This headroom represents a large opportunity for new net five products. When it comes to DeFi protocols, while continuing to grow innovative features, they have not paid similar attention to UX UI. Surveys conducted have shown the majority of users look for ease of use over features when deciding to utilize a protocol. While deep in liquidity has been amassed in decentralized finance, the liquidity is highly isolated and fractured within many networks ecosystems. Making DeFi into a system of non-connecting islands, users are forced to traverse at their own risk. What is the solution that they propose? Ethereum, while being in the top decentralized blockchain, 
with proven security but transactions can take several minutes and gas fees have reached hundreds of dollars optimism a layer 2 scaling solution reduces gas costs to pennies and completes transactions instantaneously while retaining the security of ethereum yield box which is the new evolution of bento box which is a token vault only ever licensed to sushi swap and abracadabra before tapioca has a perfect record in security in use on both protocols this is due to its isolated liquidity per token market unlike compound and aave's unified liquidity Tapioca on version 2 release will offer instant loans utilizing NFTs as collateral, the first money market with the capabilities to offer yield and loans on all digital assets. With a human-centered approach, constant visibility of protocol status, a relationship of the real world, video versus verbose documents for help content, Tapioca will offer a Web3 UI UX built for mass adoption. The Omnichain feature will be ushered in with Tapioca's home on layer zero. Tapioca will offer users the ability to take a loan out on Optimism and withdraw the assets to any chain only paying the extremely inexpensive gas on Optimism to do so. The layer zero native money market. The core component of Tapioca is Yieldbox, an iteration of Boring Crypto Bento Box, only ever previously licensed to the ultra successful billion dollar valued Abracadabra and Sushi Swap. Tapioca's mixologist is an iteration of Cashy Lending Technology, another proprietary licensed Solidity Smart Contract. Mixologist integrates Layer Zero and Gelato Network to offer the first Omnichain loan. Mixologist is permissionless and allows users to vote in new token markets with VetTap as well as many other governance abilities yield elastic between 50 to 200% to target a desired utilization rate of markets at 75%. So with both Yieldbox and Mixologist, Tapioca is able to offer the yummiest yield and loans so luscious that they repay themselves over time similar to Alchemix. For those in search of the best homebrewed yields, users can leverage their yield positions up to 90 times. Users decide what token markets will be available utilizing VTAP. Omni Flash Loan 2.0. Flash loans are an ultra powerful financial tool created by Aave, who annually performs 4 billion in flash loan volume. These flash loans must be programmed in Solidity, however. Flash loans allow users to borrow an unlimited amount of capital without collateral. As long as the loan is paid back in the same transaction, Tapioca cuts Aave Flash Loans fee into one third to 0.03% and allows users to repay the Flash Loan with a different stablecoin that was borrowed in the first place. Tapioca Flash Loans not need no coding through the use of graphical interface in place, but they also are omni-chain, meaning that the user can take a flash loan out on Optimism and settle it on any chain. Liquidation Auction Q. Currently in DeFi, liquidations happen to be on a list first come first serve basis. When users loan to incur too much debt and that they're liquidated, a handful of bots with large capital reserves race each other to buy the liquidated collateral. They generally do so at the highest gas premium possible and sell these assets on the open market directly after a jaw-dropping profit, which can cause cascading liquidations. Instant NFT loans, the version 2 release. This is going to offer a permissionless and instant NFT loan, allowing NFTs to be supported collateral type alongside traditional tokenized assets, making Tapioca the first money market for all digital assets. NFT loans are 40% loan to value. NFT prices will be derived by their 90D price floor low and loans will be 90 days. Liquidity for the loans from unused liquidity from Tapioca, traditional tokenized markets. If an NFT is liquidated, the user will have 24 hours to pay a 25% liquidation fee. If the user chooses not to pay the fee, the NFT will be sent to the liquidation auction queue. If no bids were placed within 24 hours, the Tapioca DAO will buy the NFT using funds from partnered NFT collections. The VU. The VE assets were pioneered by Curve Finance with VE CRV. They are vote escrow assets that are locked and weighed against time for governance and other utilities. This has been adapted with great success by Frax Finance, Spirit Swap, Cream Finance, Solidity Keeper, and more. These protocols have succeeded with V due to having large amounts of circulating supply locked for four years. Frax has hit 88% lockup, which shielded it from collapse during the May 2022 as well as the curve at 64%. The Omnichain loans. Although Ethereum has reminded 
at the top of the DeFi network, many competing layer one networks have emerged to varying levels of adoption, such as Avalanche, Polygon, Binance, Smart Chain, and many others. Liquidity remains fractured between these networks and even the protocols within them. This has created an interoperability crisis where users must interact with a multitude of bridges to bring the liquidity to target the network of their choice. Tapioca's zero layer integration offers users the ability to take a loan against their liquidity on one network onto the multitude of other EVM compatible networks of their choice, allowing them to spend the same asset on two chains simultaneously while the debt is self repaid on Tapioca. So we see a list of competitors here, guys, Ave, Compound, Maker, Abracadabra. And the categories that they compare them with is the isolated risk markets, their DAO governance, NFT collateral, Omnichain support, leverage, Web3 UI, Elastic APY, and their VE. We see that Ave, we see that none of these platforms have more than three of these check marks. Tapioca DAO has flying colors across the chart. When we examine their tokenomics, Again, the TAP is the token abbreviation, token ticker. There's 100 million TAP tokens. The team gets 15% global incentives, 44% advisors, 4% exchange liquidity, 10%. There's seed sale, 10%. Private sale, 12%. IDO, 3%. Airdrop, 2%. All of this to total 100%. There are vesting periods for the team of two years, advisors, two years seed 16 months private 10 months and airdrop 24 months their team and partners is listed here guys we have all of their names and a little bit about their backgrounds definitely check it out if it's something that you're interested in they have their list of backers and partners as well and the last slide their roadmap so obviously q2 2022 was their initial release q3 we can look forward to nft loans permissionless markets leverage vaults with 90x leverage we can also look forward to Q4 2022, the Omnichain Yield Strategies. Shout out to all my students. I love you. Shout out to the Crypto Class Gang. Shout out to the Lambo Gang. Shout out to the Whale Gang. Shout out to the Auto Gang. Thank you for always your continued support, guys. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that like button for me. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Please remember, guys, we are in partial channels so where the opinion is negative or positive. We'd be more than happy to hear it. That being said, guys, class is now dismissed. We'll see you in our next video. Professor Crypto out.